It's over. The United States economy is flashing warning signs. I have all the details and the alarming reports right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, a series of reports have been released over the last few days that I certainly want to bring to your attention so you can see what is really going on. So let's jump into it and buzz through these one at a time. This first report is in regards to the labor participation rate. Now, this is a number represented as a percentage to show how many people in this country, the United States, aged 60 or older are either working or actively seeking work. Now this number is coming out at 62.1%. However, just a handful of months ago in March of this year, it was actually showing up at 62.4%. So between March of this year until now, we've lost 400,000 people from the workforce just this year alone in the last handful of months from March until right now. However, get this, back before the lockdowns and before COVID came into this country, in the United States back in early 2020, the labor participation rate was seen at 63.4%. So essentially 1% higher than the highs that we saw earlier this year. Well, since then until now, we've lost 600,000 people from the workforce. That's a lot of people, right? So at the same time, the labor participation rate is decreasing and meanwhile, job openings continue to increase, right? In fact, a report that I talked about just a few days ago as well was also showing that as of the last month and as of this last reading, there were 10.7 million job openings in this country in the United States as of last month, right? So. You can see less and less people are working right now. Meanwhile, the job openings continue to rise in this country. However, to be totally fair, they actually have fallen off a little bit since the previous month before that when they were sitting at 11.3 million job openings. So they fell by about 600,000 job openings. Here's what's also interesting. Uh, uh, orders to order robots, uh, like automation robots, have increased by 40% just this year alone. So more of these businesses and companies are starting to buy robots, automation, to actually replace humans, and orders are up 40% alone this year. So do you see kind of a little bit of an interesting um, separation here? Yeah, it's becoming very obvious, right? I think all of us that may not even recognize all this stuff that's going on or even really follow this stuff very closely, it's very clear once I paint this picture for you, right? All right, so that's report number one. Now, let's quickly talk about the next report. Another report that was just uh, released as well is showing that the average American right now is spending an extra $717 per month more than what we were spending back in January 2021. In fact, get this, the last inflation report that just came out a few days ago showed inflation was sitting at 8.5%, which was actually down a little bit from the previous report, sitting at 9.1%. However, let me ask you, what do you think inflation was in January 2021? I'm guessing no one's gonna guess this one. We're probably all thinking, oh, I don't know, 5%, 4%. No, inflation in January 2021 was 1.4%. Could you imagine? I feel like we'd all feel like, wow, we've all been so blessed, right? I mean, seriously, could you imagine if inflation was 1.4% again? I feel like all of us would feel like we're getting the, a deal of a lifetime, right? We'd go out and get like whatever we wanted at the stores and nothing would be going up in price literally every single day. It, we'd feel like we, you know, hit the jackpot. That's what it was back in January, 2021. 1.4% is what inflation was. So, this report right here is actually showing that the average American, the average household right now is spending an extra $717 more per month right now than what we were paying back in January, 2021. That's a lot. That is a lot of money. I don't care what somebody says, $717 per month is a lot of money for the average person out there. A lot of people can't swing it, which is again, what I'm gonna get into in the next report here, because this one is also really alarming and honestly, really sad. And I actually heard from somebody right here in the community. They reached out to me and said, I just had to do this because I had to get some extra money. And unfortunately I had to do this. So. Here's what else is interesting. The same report here talking about the extra $717 per month right now that the average household is spending is also showing that just from August 2021 until August 2022, the average household is spending over $8,500 more during that time. So over a one year period of time, August 2021, August 2022, the average household has spent an extra $8,500 on what? 
the same old things. Nothing special. You didn't buy a car. You didn't go out and buy a fancy bike. You certainly didn't buy a jet ski or a or a whatever else you can buy, a motorcycle with $8,500. It's the same old things. It's the same old things that we've always been buying, but it's just more because of inflation. That's why. So it's all because of inflation. So where's the money gone? Well, it's literally been inflated into thin air. That's it. That's where the money went. It went nowhere other than just basically evaporated because of inflation. That's where the money went. So it's not like we're all sitting here on our brand new, uh, what can you get for $8,000 these days? I don't even know. It's not like we're all sitting here with something brand new and shiny for $8,500. We're sitting here with the same old things that we got the year prior, just inflation has eaten that money away. So super sad situation, right? Anyway, that's another report that came out. Now, next, let's talk about the next one here. This one is actually showing that uh, pawn shops, this is interesting. Pawn shops are actually posting uh, record numbers of people coming in right now, selling their beloved belongings because they need to raise cash right now. So in fact, I just heard from somebody here in the community Obviously, I'm going to keep their uh, their name private simply because, you know, this person isn't exactly all excited about it. But this person reached out and said, you know, I had to do this the other day because I needed some extra money. So this person went out and sold some things at a pawn shop. And according to this report that we are reading about this is actually showing the exact same thing. Americans are going out to pawn shops right now in huge, huge numbers, selling off the things that they've loved, the things that they wanted, but yet they need to generate some extra money right now. And this is the only way that a lot of people can do it is by selling the things that they absolutely love and that they've cherished for so long and all of a sudden they have to say well i need to sell this thing for twenty dollars or a hundred dollars or whatever it happens to be because i need that money to buy food pay my rent or you know pay for my car whatever that needs needs to be but Again, super sad situation. So here's what else is interesting. The report goes on to show that uh, according to what some of these pawn uh, shop owners are saying is that the average adult American right now, 20% of adult Americans do not even use conventional banking as in like a bank account, things like that. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I did not realize that. I did not know that that was a 20% figure. I had no clue. I, I would never would have guessed it was 20%. I would have guessed maybe maybe like 8%, 7% would have been my honest guess on that one. I had no clue it was 20% of the population does not use conventional banking. And again, the people of the, uh, behind the pawn shops are saying exactly this. The reason for this is for those individuals who do not use conventional banking, they have to use this. If they need money, they have to get cash. That's the only way that they can do it. And the way that they can get cash is by selling their stuff right? So therefore, there comes into a pawn shop. Super sad stuff, right? Now, again, I had no intention of talking about this right here in the video, but let me throw this out there really quickly. I've done this many times before, um, and I, you know, I'll probably use it many more times in the future. But for me personally, I've never pawned something. However, I have sold a ton of stuff online. And honestly, I've used Craigslist a number of different times to sell different things. However, I want to be totally fair with you. Please be careful if you use that. Um, you know, you always hear the stories, stuff like that, but I'm just saying, you, there's many different resources out there right now that you can sell stuff if you need to, rather than going to a pawn shop. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. A pawn shop would be like my honest last place that I would go to sell something. And the reason for that is, uh, they need to turn around and sell that thing, right? So if you bring something to them that they think is worth $100, they're probably gonna uh, give you maybe maybe 30, $40 for it, maybe, probably more like 25. The reason for that is they need to turn around and sell it and they need to make a profit on it. So the last place that I would go is a pawn shop. I'm just being real with you right now. But what I would rather do is sell something online, maybe like a Craigslist or maybe like a, a Facebook Marketplace or maybe like this Nextdoor app if you've ever looked into that as well. These are a few resources that I've personally used myself and I've sold all kinds of stuff from vehicles to real estate. I mean, I've sold all kinds of stuff online myself. Um, I mean, you name it, appliances. Uh, I mean, literally, if you can think about it, I've probably sold it online using one of those three methods. I've used all three of those multiple different times, depending on what the product is or whatever it is I have. Um, I'll throw it on there and just, you know, do that. And oftentimes I've given away tons of stuff on those as well too. And it's a great place to get rid of stuff. So just wanted to throw that out there really quickly. I had no intention of talking about that here in the video, but if you are in that position where you do need to get rid of stuff, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I would say go to a pawn shop last. The reason for that is, you know, for the reason I just said, they need to turn it and make a profit on it too. But if you sell it to somebody else, just like you or me, somebody else out there looking for the same old thing, you can probably maximize how much you can get for that item. Because if you look, you know, if you're, if you have say, I don't know, um, a dish set. I, I don't even know. I'm just making something up. I have no clue. Let's just say that you have like an antique dish set or something that you're trying to get rid of. 
if you take it to a pawn shop, they're going to give you a teeny tiny fraction of what they think they can get it for, right? Meanwhile, if you find somebody else out there who collects maybe antique, uh, um, you know, dishes, stuff like that, maybe they can give you $100 for it or $80 for it when it's really worth $100, something like that, versus the $20, $25, or maybe $30 that the pawn shop will give you. Again, just being real with you right now. So I hope this helps you out. But again, these are some alarming reports out there right now showing this economy is you know, kind of in a tough situation right now. This economy is really getting whacked around right now. People are leaving the workforce at record paces right now. There's job openings all over the place. There's a lot of large corporations out there that are laying off people left and right. In fact, just uh, about a week, maybe two weeks ago or so now, Walmart announced laying off hundreds of corporate workers. Peloton laying off hundreds of people as well. I mean, those are just a couple examples. Across the board, a lot of these big banks are laying off huge divisions of their mortgage branches, things like this because people are just not buying homes right now. So again, tons of people losing their jobs right now. So we got to watch this thing. It's going to be a matter of time here. And all of a sudden things are going to hit the fan real fast here and things are going to fall off a cliff really, really fast. Anyway, I want to keep you updated with everything going on right now. I hope this video helps you out and gives you better perspective on what's going on right now. And again, I just have to throw this out there. Full disclaimer, if you do use any of those websites that I mentioned earlier, please be careful, okay? Use your uh, own discretion on those. I'm not here to tell you you should or should not use those. I'm just simply saying that's what I've used myself. Um, and I've given, a re given away as well as sold a bunch of stuff on those sites. And again, just kind of want to throw that out there as a nice helpful resource to help you out during right now or this time. If you happen to have something you're trying to sell right now or trying to liquidate in uh, exchange for cash. But again, please be very, very careful. Use your best discretion always have somebody with you. If you have somebody coming over to pick something up, just have a neighbor come over, have your spouse come over. I mean, seriously, just have somebody come over to be with you. Don't be alone when you have somebody come to your house. Just try to be careful about all this. Anyway, again, just trying to do what I can to help out all of you right here in the community. Stay safe out there. Thanks again for being here. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos right here on the video uh, channel. Sorry. And uh, I'll catch you again later in the next video, which quick side note, if you're still watching, I currently have a dryer right now that I'm trying to get rid of for free. If you want a dryer, let me know, okay? <laughs> you have to pick it up though, okay? <laughs> anyway,